taken, taken back of that at all. Um, God has just been so good. I just thank him for another great day that he's given to me and to us. And I, once again, I want to give Pastor Blankenship um, thanks and I, um, an honor for allowing me to come up here once again. I don't take this lightly at all. It's a great privilege to be up here. And also I want to give thanks and honor to Brother Howe here with us today, being with us and, you know, just following God's will. And um, I want to start off um, with a scripture from Daniel 1, um, Daniel 1, verse 14. And it says, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldeans. Okay, and we're just going to pray for a moment. Lord, I just thank you, Jesus, so much for giving us another day to be with you, Lord. I thank you for allowing us to hear your word today. Lord, I thank you, God, for the great people that's here tonight. I believe we're in the midst of greatness here, Lord Jesus, tonight. I ask you, Lord, that you speak to your people and speak to me and speak through me, Lord. I pray that we take heed to your word tonight, that we be able to follow it throughout this week. Continue to protect us, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated if you like. So what does this have anything to do with us today? Well, I'm happy you asked the question. <laughs> well, is it possible for the Lord to bless us with knowledge and wisdom to reach other people around us? Is it possible for the Lord to bless us with the jobs that we have for his kingdom? When we are blessed with promotions, is it just for us to gain, to have stuff gain and to raise, a, um, a, get a pay raise? Or is it that he put us there to reach out to those that's above us, that's around us, and that works under us? If you are in school, do you know you're not there to just, you're this year because your parents make you go? Or are you there just to get on honor roll or um, to make friends and be popular? But is it possible that God has placed you there to witness to your student body, to your teachers, and to, to be the example for your school? Another scripture I want to share is Daniel 2 and 4. And the king made him ruler, Daniel, that I'm talking about, over the whole province of Babylon and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Do you know we're meant to be the ones that influence the laws, policy, and regulations in our society? I believe we, the children of God, are supposed to be working alongside our leaders to make the decisions and also becoming leaders ourselves to demonstrate the power of God. I'm here to tell you that it's not too late. You're not too young, you're not too old to continue to be an impact in our society and do it on a bigger level, a larger scale. I do believe that the latter will be greater and I do believe we are in the last days today. Be encouraged today because we are called to a higher purpose. If God is calling you to teach, become the greatest apostolic teacher of your day. If, God is, if you have been blessed to speak multiple languages, you are a soul winner. You've not only been able to reach one culture, but now you're able to reach two or three cultures of, of people. If God is calling you to be a doctor, be a doctor. We need more Holy Ghost-filled doctors in our day that will pray healing and speak life, also bring a sense of hope and peace to those that are hurt and sick. If God is calling you to be a lawyer, be a lawyer. Who knows? I might need you one day. So I need you to pick up that calling. <laughs> but... You know, we need more, more of those out here, and that God will give you the ability to do research and to demonstrate godly righteousness in our society, to stand for truth, not worrying about getting paid or worrying about your status, but just standing for truth. Daniel made a way, even though most of the time opportunities presented themselves, um, presented himself, presented, um, themselves to him, but he always put God first. And all the work that Daniel did for the kings um, that he, in the kingdoms, he always gave glory and praise to God. He always acknowledged that God gave him the knowledge. He always thanked God for giving him the wisdom because he knew it wasn't just him that gave him that. The wisdom that Daniel shared with kings, it affected an entire kingdom. I do not believe Daniel used his gifts and talents for his own self-gain. I believe God has blessed Daniel to change the mindset of kings and kingdoms. I believe God is calling us today. 
calling us today in our society. We're living in a time where many people in our leadership, few to none, even may believe God. The way that we look at it, many of them don't believe in God or even follow God. But I believe here, here tonight, I really believe it, that there, I'm in the midst of greatness. Either believe it or not, I believe it, that we're in the midst of greatness here. I believe there are some intelligent, wise, un unmovable, strong, Jesus' name, men and women here, that will stand for God's word no matter what the circumstance may be. Whomever you are, God is speaking to. God did it for Daniel, and I know God is wanting to do the same for you. So I just challenge you here today. God is calling you to change the atmosphere, atmosphere and mindset of Norfolk, Virginia, the state of Virginia, this country, and the world around us.